So how you find these uh, these properties, these houses? How do you find? What source you use? <clears throat> so again, there's a number of options you can you could pick from, really. So if you if you want to do what we what I described earlier in terms of actually finding a single lot property, a family home, then you want to turn into a, an HMO. So that is your best option, really. And I I still recommend everyone is agents. You, you know, letting agents, they can seem very scary people at first when you're first starting out, but they have a huge market share in terms of the properties they actually have access to. So I always tell my mentees is, is there, are, there are many other ways and I'll talk about some of the other ones in a minute, but I think uh, actually just ignoring ha having a relationship with agents is, is counterproductive because it's, you know, they have many, many properties. And the best thing about it is and I know, you know, people have who listen, who are watching and listening, you've probably been out there and tried working with agents and got loads of rejections. And so have I. But all I can say is that all you need is one agent to work with you. Because as soon as you find that one agent, guess what? One agent doesn't just have one property. They have many properties. And the one agent can bring you one this week, it can bring you another one next week, it can, can bring you another five next month. So definitely recommend agents it can be hard work at first and certainly not going to be all yeses and and uh, rainbows and butterflies but it's definitely worth uh, persevering with so so that's one of the methods and the other one is um hmo letters now if you're not familiar with the um sort of property uh, game then you probably don't know what i'm talking about but um what hmo letters are so there is a register of every single licensed hmo that each of the councils hold now you could go to the council's websites and in some cases they are available freely to you um, and you can find where those hmos are in your town so your next thing is to actually send the letters to these hmo landlords who own these properties and tell them who you are what you want to do and uh, why they should work with you why they should choose you as a managing agent so that's another method and um the third one and it's not the most common one but actually works really well and i've got um, a couple of properties like this is um word of mouth and recommendations now it's obviously it's not something that easy to come by straight away but once you have one or two properties and you do a good job you will get recommended to people and you know what they can be the best deals actually because your negotiation is straight with the landlord um you already have uh, the recommendation from somebody a third party so you don't have to do the selling story as much as you probably would do if you were fresh and totally cold to that person. So that can be a really, really good way actually of, uh, of, of obtaining properties. So those three would probably be my top three. So I, I would recommend those.